Hi guys, so I'm doing a sit down video again. I've got my new camera, but um, the SD card for it has just arrived today and I'm still waiting for my lightning to SD converter to arrive, so I can't actually get any of the footage off it until it comes, blah blah blah. Hate technology sometimes. Um, so before I get started, quick review of that, I absolutely love it. I went for the Canon um, Exus, I don't know how you actually pronounce it, Exus um, 265. And as you can see, it's a brilliant size for vlogging because it fits in the palm of my hand. And I've not got the biggest hands in the world. Um, the quality is really, really good. But that's also quite daunting because I realise that you guys are going to be able to see every little thing on my face. So if I have a spot, if I have a cold sore, it's going to look ten times as bad. So for Christmas, I need to get lots of concealer. So if you don't know what to get me, Collections 2000, that sticky concealer. That'll do me. Buckets of it I'm gonna have to put on so you can't see my little baggies and stuff. But um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Rate it so much. 1080p, um, 12 times optical, optical zoom. Um, I love it, absolutely love it. You can't go wrong with Canons. Their lenses are absolutely fantastic. You get what you pay for. Brilliant, absolutely love it. And it's so beautiful, look. So beautiful. So anyway, get into the video. I have decided to do my top five DVDs that I own. Not films of all time, although my favourite film of all time is in these DVDs. So you'll get to find out my favourite film of all time. It shocks most people. A lot of people are like, oh, is it Legally Blonde? Or? Because back in the day I used to be quite dense and be like, oh, you know. But I've grown a pair of tits since then, so... <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got my favourite DVDs that I own, not films of all time, and so um, I'll go backwards. So number five, I remember watching this at the cinema and thinking I'm going to have to get this on DVD and I love this film and I don't know why. Um, maybe it was the effects, maybe it was the storyline, I don't know, but I really love this film and it's knowing. I thought it was a really good film. I thought the effects, especially in the cinema when the plane, like, I'm not going to ruin it for people that haven't watched it, but there's a part in it where a plane crashes. And I remember being in the cinema and going, wow. But then again, back then, it was probably, I mean, what, what year? I don't actually know what year this, uh, this came out. 2009. So at the time, it was probably like cutting edge, but now it probably looks poop. But I like the film. Good storyline. Number four. I love this film. It's so funny. God rest his soul. He was a great actor. It's Drop Dead Fred. This is just like a feel good film. If you're not feeling very well or you need a laugh or you need cheering up, get this out. Stick your PJs on sit in front of the telly and watch this one. I love this film, it's hilarious. And if you haven't seen it, I do recommend you go watch this. Okay, number three is The Notebook. This film gets me every single time in floods of tears. It's the most amazing love story told in film of all time, in my opinion. You can't beat it. There is lines in there that will live with me forever and I absolutely adore it. It is the most heartbreaking story and at the end gets me every single time. If you've not seen this film, it needs to be on your bucket list of films. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. It's my favourite rom romantic film. It's not a comedy. It's definitely not a comedy. I don't know why I said rom-com. Romantic love story film of all time absolutely love it rachel mcadams and ryan gosling are fantastic in it apparently they didn't like each other at all when they filmed this which doesn't come out on camera because they're playing people that are madly in love with each other and i didn't know any different until after so i was like they must be good actors and actresses then but yeah i absolutely love this film and it always always gets me titanic always gets me as well i know the boat's gonna sink it not going to do anything different, but it always gets me. Don't know why. But I am a sucker for films that make me cry, I have to say. Marley and Me is another one. Molly's downstairs watching uh, 
happen while I film and she's shouting at the telly. Just, just, she's, she's fine. Some people are like, oh, yeah, she's okay. She, yeah, she's just shouting at the telly. That's what she does. I don't know why. I think it's because uh, she couldn't communicate when she was younger, so now she's making most of it. <laughs> number two. This film is fairly new, but it has taken my number two spot. Um, purely for the cinematic, I don't know if that's the right word, cinematics, I think it is. Um, it's shot absolutely beautiful. It's an old story, it's a book, but it's been made into a film. I think it was, an, no, it was an old film as well. I've not seen the original. It's The Great Gatsby with Leonardo DiCaprio. I love Leonardo DiCaprio. That had to be one film. Although I'm very shocked there's not a film with Channing Tatum in it because he is my favourite, for obvious reasons. But um, The Great Gatsby, I thought this was shot absolutely beautiful. Um, the scenes, although I think I've appreciated scenes and um, video and photography so much more since doing YouTube because I know how hard it is to get a good shot. The lighting, the angle, blah blah blah. <laughs> and uh, mine's still absolute poop, but now I appreciate films more and understand um, the art of filming things and taking pictures and I absolutely love the way this was filmed so I rate this one and it's a good storyline as well I think I need to read the book because there's always more in the book isn't there than any films it's the same with the Twilight series that I've got all of as well so love this now my favourite film of all time not just in my DVDs but of all time people are always shocked by this I really don't know why, maybe it's because back in the day, I don't know so much now they'd be shocked, but um, back in the day when I was a teenager everyone thought it'd be Legally Blonde or something clueless or <laughs> I think they were trying to tell me something, but my favourite film of all time is Shawshank Redemption. It is an amazing, amazing film, I've got a three disc special, um, what can I say? If you haven't seen this, you haven't lived. I'm pretty sure quite a lot of people have seen Shawshank Redemption but it's beautifully told, it's an amazing story. I mean, I didn't expect my um, my favourite film to be a prison film but I love it, absolutely love it. It is up there with the classics and to be fair I think it's the best film of all time. I don't know what it is about it. It's just, it's just great and when he, oh. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything just in case you haven't seen this but I love it absolutely love it there's scenes in there that it's just I love it absolutely I can't say anything more about it so that is my favorite film of all time so if you've not seen it go watch it for me just do it you will not regret it I promise you so they're my favourite five films of the DVDs that I actually own. There's quite a lot, if I pan you around slightly. I have a little bit of a problem. Well, I used to have a bit of a problem. When it comes to buying DVDs, there's actually a third lot as well. That's the entirety of my DVD collection. So, it's a pretty big collection. Um, yeah, I had to have a bit. I used to have a bit of a problem when um, HMV used to sell DVDs online, and I used to go through and I used to get some like every week and get them delivered. Um, yeah, so <laughs> so that's it, guys, for this week. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. Please keep your fingers crossed for me. This blinking lightning cable to SD card converter comes, so I can film on my camera. I can plug it into my iPad, upload the videos, edit, get it up for you and then we'll we'll be on a roll then and I'll be able to do more um, more vlogs for you. Um, hopefully that's the case. Please keep your fingers crossed for me because I really want to take this new camera for a whirl. Um, I want to shoot some more footage of my hometown. That's, that's the, the next idea I have in my head is to go and film bits of my town for you so um, the library with Darwin sat outside and the castle and the quarry but more you know shot better because I've got the better camera um, and the dingle which is full of flowers and hopefully I'll go to the the flower show this year so I've got lots of ideas in my head um, and which will be made a lot easier with this new camera so hopefully that'll happen um, obviously a bit daunting gonna have to get the concealer on the go 
because there'll be nothing to hide when I get this camera out. You probably see my first um, video and you'll be like, Jesus, she's aged 10 years, but uh, hopefully not. I'd like to think not. I mean, look, quite a lot of you that, that watch these know me in real life anyway, so whatever, it doesn't matter. But, um, so yeah, um, again, thanks for watching. Please uh, remember, if you haven't already and you're new, to hit the subscribe button. I have videos uploaded every Wednesday. Hit the like button. Um, tell me your f um, top five favourite films in the comments below. I'd love to hear your films, see if I've, uh, if I've watched them. Uh, and if I haven't, get watching them, because I love a good film. Um, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys. Here are a few pictures of Molly. This one reminds me of Braveheart, I don't know why. You know, you can take our lives, but you'll never take our freedom. But yeah, so I thought these pictures are really, really cute and you guys would like to see them um, because she's not been in this week's video. But hopefully next week it'll be a vlog on the new camera. Um, and thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.